Maine Coons as Barn Cats. I'm a member of the Facebook group Purebred Maine Coon Lovers. It has more than 42,000 members. And as you know, I have a Maine Coon Ragdoll Mix, Siggy, the tan one on the left, and Freya, the brown with right pedigreed Maine Coon on the right. And the rules of this group are fairly simple. But the number one rule is don't ask if your cat might be a Maine Coon. Only DNA is certain and none of our members can tell from the photo. You know, I applaud that, but every now and then, as in this case, a member will ask, so my cat is only half Maine Coon. Does that still count? Oh, and a group member responded this way. Truly, a Maine Coon mix would be a rare cat indeed. Breeders don't let their breeding cats out to run around the neighborhood. Possibly by accident, one got out, but more than likely what you have is a domestic law cat. Well, Maine Coon prices are expensive, and breeders seldom let their cats out. But you know, in rural Midwest and other places, Maine Coons have been used historically as barn cats. And there's a reason. They are rodent killer machines. Are Maine Coon cats good hunters? You bet they are. A whole history of them begins as barn cats, not as show cats. Look what this website says. Their great advantage on the homestead, aside from being extremely loving and sociable creatures, is that they are rodent slaughtering machines. My own Maine Coon has destroyed much of the rat and mouse population around my house and has moved on to cleaning up the neighbor's property as well, much to their delight. Typically in rural areas, a person puts up with an occasional mouse in the house, but when a rat shows up, all bets are off. And that's what happened with Jessica Lane, who has a farm uh, in Maine, and she wrote an article told, uh, titled, Bring a barn cat or two to your homestead. She raises goats, ducks, chickens. When she spotted a rat, she thought of Maine Coons. They are excellent hunters and incredibly intelligent. Maine Coons are hardy, productive workers, and still generally sociable and friendly. She prefers them to other long-haired cats like ragdolls, whose loose fur can be home for fleas. And that brings up the article, Do Ragdoll Cats Make Good Barn Cats? According to the International Ragdoll Congress, and I quote, Ragdoll cats are not generally known as the best mousers. Maine Coons are a better breed for that. But ragdolls are very well known for their ability to be easy to cuddle, and they are really good with kids. Horse boarding facilities and horse riding instructional facilities are full of kids, so owners are always looking for pets that are also good with them. And that brings up ragdoll. And in my case, that brings up Siggy. We got her from a farm that used a Maine Coon mom to protect the barn. And yes, there are horse farms in the vicinity, which is how we got our Maine Coon ragdoll mix. We are now in our fourth month and already I see differences between Freya and Siggy. Freya is gradually becoming larger than Siggy, approaching seven pounds. Her face is much larger than Siggy's. She is more independent and she loves to hunt. Siggy, on the other hand, collapses in your arms when you hold her up, and that's the rag doll in her. It's good to remember the history of Maine Coons as barn cats and how they are still used today in rural areas. They are known to keep out foxes and even coyotes. On the downside, they get hungry in the barn. They generally don't eat chickens, but they savor an occasional chick or two. By all means, we should celebrate the pet aspect of this awesome breed, but also heed their wider use of Maine Coons as protectors of homes, farms, and homesteads. And now we're taking a look at Siggy and Freya in action. This is a three foot jump and she's only at four months. If you'd like to see more of Freya and C, visit our website at maincoonadventures.com.